There is one thing that drives movement on Earth, gravity. Without gravity, we could not perform even the simplest athletic movements. On Earth, if you want to move, you have to redirect the force of gravity to initiate movement. Imagine an apple floating through space. The apple is made up of matter, giving it a specific mass. Now let's introduce gravity to the apple. What happens? It falls. Now that it's falling, how much does it weigh? At the moment, this isn't relevant. The apple has no weight unless there is a support present to interact with it. So let's take the free-falling apple and rest it on a table. The bottom of the apple is now the point of support. This interaction of gravity and support turns the apple's mass into weight. Now let's consider how this relates to you trying to move. If you're standing in the running pose, gravity is interacting with you. The manifestation of your body weight occurs at the point of support, in this case your foot, which you should perceive as pressure. This interaction of support and gravity establishes your body weight. Gravity has already initiated the downward force that your muscles are balancing against. To initiate movement, you simply have to fall from that support by allowing your body weight to shift ahead of your foot. Now this is where you take action by utilizing active muscle efforts to pull your foot up under your hip. Most runners are fixated on landing and their next point of support. Actually, your focus should be pulling your foot off the ground. Only your foot on the ground can be meaningfully repositioned. Think of your airborne foot as a reactionary mover. It will mirror the movement of your support foot if balance is suddenly lost. Think of it this way. If someone pushed you from the side, would you actively think about moving your foot into place to keep you from falling over? Or do you simply react? That's why our active movement is focused on pulling, not landing. Going from one foot to the next is the act of changing support, which is the definition of movement. So remember, while we are focused on falling and changing support efficiently, the only reason we're allowed to run is because of gravity.